In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to felt these cute little button flowers. They are so cute. They are as cute as a button. This is the before, this is after. Look at the shrinkage on this bad boy. I have videos on how to be able to felt. So this is what it will look like. And then when you throw it through the washing machine, this is what it will come out. And it's so cute. A great little applique for anything that you'd like to do. So you can use this tutorial to create this flower if you like that flower. And you can use obviously use colors that you prefer. And you can stop or you can do one step further and make this cute little felted flower. So let's now get started on making these cute little button felted flowers. I've got my yarn ready and I'm going to be using a six and a half millimeter crochet hook or a size K. Let's create a slip knot and uh, we have slower tutorials available to do that if you wish to learn that. Okay, just slip in your hook and I want you to chain four. This does not ever count as one. So one, two, three, and four. I want you to slip the hook into the very start of the chain just like that and I want you to just kind of use your finger, your thumb to pinch and grab the yarn that is coming from the yarn ball through and through. So by pinching down there you've kept the circle open so that you know exactly where the ring is and I want you to use this straggler now to pinch it when you're going to pinch it just pinch it on the one side. I now want to chain up three one, two, and three and I want to go around this ring 11 times so this actually counts as one so it'll actually be a total of 12 when we go to do the final count so let's just wrap the material and going in and we're just going to double crochet 11 times so let's count those out together so one two and see how I'm pinching this straggler piece you want to do that so that you lose that in there so that you can safely trim whatever's left out and you know your project won't fall apart so let's get caught back up in my count. This was number four. We have five. We have six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I got ten. And eleven. And I just want to verify now. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I want to just now slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain that we started with. So just grabbing the material and just pull it through and through. And what I want to just do too at this point is that you can safely trim this loose end out because you trapped it in enough times. So you don't need to worry about that. And let's move on to our next step. Moving on to our next step is actually very simple. We just want to chain up two, one, and two. And I want you to look for, see how this spoke here is matching there? So the very next stitch is actually right here. Some people go right underneath there because that's what it looks like you have to do. You know, I've been doing that for years and realizing that that's been wrong. But I just want to double crochet four times into that same stitch. Okay. There's some things in crochet that, you know, it takes a while to start really understanding how a pattern or a stitch is supposed to work. And, you know, for me, slip stitching has always been something that's been very hard to grasp. Okay, so we got four double crochets into there. I want you to chain two, one and two. And I want you to come down to the next stitch available for a single crochet. And I want you to chain two again. So one and two. And coming into the next stitch available on the circle there is so you're going to do four double crochets like you did before. We're now actually creating the petals for your crochet project here. We're now going to chain two, one and two, coming down to the next one on the circle. And I want you to chain two again, so one and two, and coming into the next one. Oh, sorry, next one is four double crochets. So you can see the pattern going. So I want you to continue with the same pattern. So four double crochets, chain two, and then you come into the next one for a single crochet, chain two, and then the next one gets four double crochets and do that. And I'm going to meet you back up at the end of this rotation so that we are back on the same page. We'll see you in just a second. We're now in the very last one and we're going to chain two again and we're going to come into the very final is right and four double crochets into the final one because there was a starting of 12 
double crochets in the in the circle because of the way that we did it you should end up with six some people like to put in seven some people like to push it to only five but this pattern is for doing six chaining two and when we go to slip stitch now this one we want to come down underneath where we started because that will make it complete so just through and through okay through and through and we're just now going to trim this material we're going to fasten this off and I'm just going to pull out like that and I just want to come in around and just tie it into position and the next rotation we're going to actually do another color which is uh, really the predominant color when you go to felt because a lot of this green here will get lost once it starts uh, contracting in the washer so let's move along to your next color before we move along to our next color, if you like this applique and this flower just as so, you know, don't hesitate to stop at this tutorial. These tutorials are meant just to inspire you and give you ideas on what you can do. So let's uh, now get your next color up. I'm going to go with the purple. I figured the two is kind of contrasting each other. Kind of fun. And I'm going to create a slip knot. And what I want you to concentrate here is that inside here, you see that this will actually come down. And when we look at a better view of it, what we're doing is that we're coming down in between and that's how we're going to start. So what we need to start is not down here but we need to start in the gap that is beside um, the double crochets. So let's do that. So just pull this open and you'll find that there's a gap. Okay, four double crochets and gap. So I want you to go in and secure this around one of the gaps. It doesn't matter which one as long as you just pick one. Okay, we're going to come around and we're going to use my straggler as well. When I go to pull through, I'm going to pull through the straggler at the same time. It just makes it extra secure so you don't have to worry about anybody yanking on and pulling it out on you. Especially if you're doing it to a child's hat. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet ourselves around the perimeter of this. Okay, but it's not just single crochet. We're just going to do some steps in between. So single crochet the next and I want to put down the straggler so it's on top of the line so that when we go around it we're actually going to fasten it underneath so you can't actually see it. Okay, so down and we're just going to single crochet over top of the four double crochet stitches. Okay, so now the next one is in the gap. We did, when we secured it, we secured it into the gap on this side so we have to make sure we single crochet the, in the gap on this side and now we're going to come down and look all the way down back to the center and you'll see that there's two posts. I want you to just slip in your hook in behind the posts like that, grab the material and pulling it and yank it up. Okay, give it some slack and then pull through the two uh, loops. Okay, so that you want to give that some slack. So now we're going to start with the next one again. We're going to be right in the gap for a single crochet and then we're over top of the next four double crochets. Maybe you've got a clue into what the pattern is going to be now, uh, but we're just going to take you a little bit further so you're not lost. Okay, we're now back onto the next gap. So we go around the gap and now we come down. And so basically when you're looking down, see how these two secu are secured by this piece? The next two will be for the next one. Okay, so pull it and give it some slack. Pull through the two loops. And then we just want to single crochet into the first gap available. So just continue to do that all the way around. We'll meet back up at the end where we'll fasten off and call this project quits for today. I'm now on my last petal and I'm just ready to come down and snap in between the final two. And if you, you have an extra one left over, then you can just grab it in there too. You shouldn't, but if you do, can, you can kind of fake it that way. Uh, some people get upset when I say you can fake it instead of taking it apart. But sometimes, you know, a lot of us, this could be our first crochet project. And you know what, sometimes you, you can fake things and get away with it and people really don't care too much about it. The only person that really should see it probably is yourself. So we're going to just fasten now. So I'm just going to trim the material over my hand and we're going to pull that material out. Okay, and we're just going to fasten it. So we're just going to come into a stitch, pulling it through, grab the material and pulling it through. And this is tying onto itself as well. Because we're going to be doing the felting process, 
uh, you know, any inconsistencies in the stitching will be completely lost because once it goes down like this, it just looks like a blob of magic. It's really quite amazing, to be quite honest with you. So now it's up to us just to trim the edges out, and we can just trim whatever's sticking out because of the way that we were conscientious on fastening, fastening this in. This one here, their knot is right there. I just want to secure it around a couple more uh, stitches before I cut it. And I can just safely trim that. I can look over. See if any holes? Nope, nothing. Everything is good. And that's how you would do it. Now, if you want to do the felting process, well, there's another one. If you want to do the felting process, just throw it in your washing machine. We do have directions on my website as well as video to be able to do the felting process to change it. Until next time, I'm your host, Mikey.